Welcome to the channel. So it's three days before bonfire night. We're going to be making some traditional parking. So this is a May Byron recipe from 1915. Of all the recipes I've tried for parking, this is by far the best. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video, so watch out for that. We're going to look at the ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients for today, I've got 225 grams of plain flour or all purpose flour. 225 grams of medium ground oatmeal. So I got this from Morrison's in the UK. I think Sainsbury's have it as well. Don't use rolled oats, doesn't work. I've got 55 grams of butter, 55 grams of lard, 225 grams of treacle, so I think the original recipe, 1915 recipe, calls for red treacle and somebody on the internet has said that red treacle is really just a mixture of black treacle and golden syrup. So I'm going to split that into, so 225 grams of treacle, half of it is going to be uh, black treacle, the other half is going to be golden syrup. I'm actually going to use uh, maple syrup. Tried this recipe a few times, thought I'd have a go with maple syrup to see how it went and it was actually really nice. So I'm going to use maple syrup. If you want to use just black treacle, you can do. If you want to use just golden syrup, uh, you can do as well. Again, all of the ingredients will be listed at the end of the video. We've got 60 grams of soft brown sugar. One teaspoon of ginger. Teaspoon of mixed, mixed spice. Two teaspoons of baking powder. A pinch of salt and 60 millilitres of milk. So the first thing we do, we've got all our dry ingredients in a large bowl and just mix all that together. So once we've mixed all the dry ingredients together, the next step is the butter and lard. And then we're going to make almost like a crumble. In fact, it's identical to making a crumble. So just Mix in the solids, the butter and the lard, through your fingers. Again, until you get that crumbled texture. And everything is well combined. Really important that we really combine these ingredients well. Okay, so once we've combined all of our ingredients together, and I can't stress enough how important it is to get this part right, just take your time with it and please don't be as messy as I am. So once we've got all those combined, the next thing to do is I've placed our black treacle and golden syrup, or in this case maple syrup, in a pan. I'm going to heat this very gently for about two minutes just to warm that treacle and syrup through. Just makes it a lot easier to work with uh, in the dry mixture. So again, just a couple of minutes, low heat, once it's warm, we're then going to add the milk and then transfer everything into our dry ingredients bowl and mix everything together. So that's our black treacle, syrup and milk all mixed together and warmed through. So as you can see, it's going to be a lot easier to work with. Take our parking dry mixture, just pour this in a little bit at a time and I'm going to be using a spatula to mix this in. The simple reason I want to get it away from the sides of the bowl as well. So just a little bit at a time. And obviously we just continue until all of that's mixed in. Okay, so that's everything mixed in. This is a sort of consistency that you're looking for. It's like a really thick batter if you like. So the next thing to do, I've got a oven tray, deep oven tray, 
lined it with greaseproof paper. I've also placed the oven on to 160 degrees centigrade. So obviously we need to get that oven up to temperature before we start baking. I'm just going to pour in our mixture and just flatten it out. So once it's all smoothed out into that preheated oven, 160 degrees centigrade for about 40 minutes in the center of the oven. I have tried this couple of, uh, cooking this a couple of ways. This way, 160 degrees uh, centigrade for 40 minutes. And I've also tried 150 degrees for 45 minutes. And for my particular oven, which is quite a poor oven, it's not very good, the 160 degrees at 40 minutes um, seems to work best. So there you go, 1915 traditional parking, absolutely delicious. Can't wait for bonfire night. So this particular recipe works really well. If you make it about three days before, cut it into squares, into an airtight container, and then allow it to mature over those three days, you get a far better product. Please subscribe to the channel, and as usual, if you've enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching.